In this video, we're going to take a look at the turn tool. Now the turn tool is pretty much to create things that are sort of cylindrical shaped and it would basically be as if you put the part on a lathe, for instance. So you would get that sort of turned effect. So to do this, what you need to do is start off with one side of a vector. So let's say I create this, this rectangle. And if I were to try to do it now, it wouldn't actually do anything. So that's the turn tool up there. So this is a closed vector and it doesn't work because it just needs half of that vector. So if I cancel that, it's a pretty easy to use tool. And what I'm going to do is just going to node editing and I'm just going to cut that there. Let's display the midpoints. So I'm going to cut that there cut that there and I'll just delete that side okay so I've just got basically a rectangle that isn't joined okay so what's going to happen is as soon as you click on the turn tool it will basically rotate it over so if I select that you can see that it's created this cylinder Okay, so it's really good for these sort of cylindrical shapes. Now, it's a pretty easy to use tool, providing that you've got that part right and you get to this stage. Now, you can create half of the actual shape that you're looking for, or you can start like this and then use this as you would node editing. So if I go to, let's say, there and move it, you can see that it changes the shape all in real time. It's a really nice tool to use just to play around with, to be completely honest with you. So if I were to smooth that, you can see that I get this sort of shape and I can move that out. I can create all these nice sort of shapes here. So I can bring that out. I can also insert points. So if I press I on the keyboard, just as node editing, like so and I can insert another point insert a point there and there bring that out you can see that I can create all these different effects okay so you can create some really nice cool things with this when you're happy with that if I rotate around, you can see that this is quite high. Now you could do this with just scaling the relief afterwards, or you can enter a scale factor. Let's say that I want it to be 0.2. And then obviously you've got the relief combined mode. So how these interact with other pieces or other reliefs, and then just select apply. And then make sure that you select cancel afterwards because it's a live tool. It will create another 0.2 relief over the top of it. So press cancel and then that takes you back to the start. So you can delete that and then you can see that I've created this sort of goblet just from a simple half of a rectangle. So that's how you use the turn tool.